There's a big world outside the campus of Rose Holman. Are you ready for it? I had no idea what an electrical engineer was. The first internship I had, I kind of sat down at the end of the summer and was like, what, what did I get accomplished? At this point in my life, I was definitely ready to get out and explore something new. Whether it's an internship, co-op, or your first full-time job, Career Services is here to help you transition from the classroom into the boardroom. I've had three internships. I'm now a senior. Um, three different internships. And basically from the start, it's been a good process. I've been in communication with the Career Services Department every year. And they've been the assistance for me to get to where I am. Graduating with a first-rate education involves more than just a good grade point average. It gives you your first opinion of what engineering is. As, much, as many classes as you can take, it doesn't matter. You will not know what engineering is until you go to a company and work for them. You can, you can use them to find out um, the industries you like or don't like, the, the companies you want to work for and don't want to work for, uh, to make sure that um, the major you're looking to go into and the, the career you want to go into is the right one for you. And not just the job, but Sometimes the company, the type of company, um, the location, there's a lot that you can figure out in a co-op and internship that really isn't related to the type of work really at all. As a civil engineer, I wanted to well-round myself in different aspects, and I've done so. I've been involved with transportation, I've been involved with design, construction, buildings. I was thrown into leadership positions. I was thrown into disciplines um, that I was not used to. They're an invaluable experience that you just can't pass up. Uh, Hands-on experience, real world, um, you just get machines, technology, people, demographics, uh, you, get, you get it all with internships. So I would definitely recommend as many like internships or co-op possibilities as you can. Besides learning technical skills, this experience might be the first time a student learns how important it is to have good interpersonal skills as well. A Rose Holman degree is worth a lot in its own right, but you need to be able to communicate what you know, otherwise it's not very valuable. It definitely helps um, they come across to be very professional. Um, they're competing with you know, hundreds of other candidates, so if they don't come off as professional and able to communicate, then that just shows us that they may not be ready for working at Milliken. It is extremely important, especially for Frito-Lay, with the communication skills because what we're looking for is managers. It takes practice. I mean, it doesn't come natural to everybody, and it takes a lot of practice, and internships is one place where you can get a lot of practice doing that, talking to a lot of different people, and being comfortable with putting yourself out there. A successful job search equals a positive work experience, but how do you find that perfect fit? I actually interned with this company um, a couple years before I graduated. Uh, met them here at the Rose Career Fair and ended up getting called in and went out to visit them, got accepted for a summer position. My very first internship I actually found on my own. I did a lot of research. Uh, I'm mainly looking at three companies that I am really interested in, so I went online through the register, through career services and went to their company websites and did a lot of research about their company. It's all about who you know, definitely. I actually found um, them at the career fairs. I found the first one on e-recruiting, which is really promoted. You can put your resume on it um, as a student, and that's how I found my one my freshman year. And then my sophomore year at the winter career fair, um, I met Boston Scientific, and they offered me an internship, and I, they, like, like before school even started my junior year, they had already offered me for the next summer. Employers agree to land that perfect job, your resume needs to include real work experience. I would say maybe half of our interns actually get hired by us. I would say 90% of our people come from co-ops and internships. You just have to realize that coming to this school is the spot where all the opportunities are. It's a win-win relationship that can create lifelong memories. My biggest memory from Milliken is at the end of the summer all 140 interns and co-ops get together and give presentations in front of Mr. Milliken himself, the CEO of the company. When I was in Tampa, Florida, my last week working there was when Hurricane Charlie was supposed to come through our project site. It was a very unique process that I had to go through, that the company had to go through. And when we got um, FDA approval on our inhalable insulin, not many students will ever experience that. So it wasn't just like an internship, like, you know, eight to five. Like, we really got to know people from, like, different schools and different backgrounds. And so I think that'll always stick with me. When we tried to install a tank, we didn't pressurize it enough, and the tank actually collapsed. So then we had to buy another uh, couple million dollar tank, and I didn't get in trouble for it. One of the internships that I had, um, 
before I started at Rockwell. I worked in Indianapolis and I got a project all to myself and I got to kind of take possession of it and run with it and do what I wanted. I did from start to finish. It was all mine and it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. You heard right, learning can be fun. They get the experience of being with other students, what do other schools do, and they also get the, um, the ability to uh, go on several team building experience trips. And so it's educational as well as fun, and they get that work experience as well. We had a company softball team, we had a bowling league. It's really just how, what kind of person you are. My last two summers have been the two of the best summers of my life, even though I'm at a real job where I have to get up early every day and, and actually do engineering work. So you can definitely have fun. I thought I was going to work somewhere in the Midwest for some engineering firm, and now I'm on the West Coast, 2,300 miles away from home, and loving it. So what are you waiting for? 